This is honestly one of my favorite things to make and eat. It's super quick and easy and it's super tasty. I start by placing the rice paper on the pan, then I scramble the egg onto the rice paper, followed by some spinach and then barbecue pork, cheese, sriracha sauce, and Japanese mayonnaise. Then I fold it and fry it on each side until it's nice and crispy. For something so simple to make, this is a great breakfast or snack for any time of the day. One of the reasons I love scrolling through cooking videos on TikTok and YouTube is that there's so many cool recipes I can try at home. This one was super quick and easy like most of my breakfast recipes. Place the rice paper onto the pan, scramble the egg onto the rice paper, place some avocado, shredded crab meat, drizzle some sriracha sauce and hoisin sauce, fold it in half and flip it. Surprisingly, it wasn't soggy at all. The rice paper got really crispy. Some people call this a Vietnamese pizza and some people call this a rice paper omelet. This is definitely something I would make again. So good. The last time I made this, I used shredded crab meat and avocado. I told Owen that anything can go on this egg, so he said, Fine, I'm going to put bacon, cheese, and ketchup. I'm thinking that's kind of a weird combination, but I went with it and I made it for him anyways. I couldn't convince him to add any greens to it. I would have loved to add spinach or some kind of greens to it, but he said no, and I honored his decision, flipped it over, and served it to him. I can honestly tell you this breakfast took me less than three minutes to make. The last time I made this, I put avocado and had so many comments about the avocado being warm and it's so gross and can you actually cook it? So this time I decided to use spinach. I figured it's a safer option. I quickly scrambled the egg onto the rice paper and placed some bacon, spinach and cheese and folded it up. To get the rice paper extra crispy, you can place a little bit of butter on the pan before you place your rice paper on it. The most important thing is not to overcook it. It will become soggy if you overcook it. I've made different variations of this Vietnamese pizza and they're all super yummy, but by far this is the best combination. Seriously, so good, you have to try it. Place the rice paper on a non-stick pan, then scramble the egg onto the rice paper, followed by my favorite chili oil with peanuts. Sprinkle some green onion and pork floss, then fold it in half. Fry each side until it's nice and crispy. For something so quick and easy to make, it's packed with flavor and I would definitely make this again. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I get a lot of mixed comments about Spam. Some people love Spam and some people think it's really gross. Personally, I do like eating Spam, but I try not to eat it too often. There are times I do crave Spam and this is one of them. I quickly fry up the Spam, then scramble the egg onto the rice paper, place the Spam onto the egg, added some cheese, a little bit of sriracha sauce and hoisin sauce, and then folded it up. I guess you can call this a Spam rice paper omelette?